Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. For this week's video, we are looking at the Fender Stratocaster versus the Ibanez Prestige. Now the Fender Stratocaster has been made continuously since 1954 and is probably the most popular solid body electric guitar ever made. And certainly uh, it has influenced every other double cut design uh, in existence, whether manufacturers want to admit it or not. Uh, the Strat is an icon and is sort of the granddaddy of a lot of different designs. Now the Ibanez Prestige is what we would consider a super Strat. So it takes the, the general design of the Stratocaster and modernizes it. All right, so let's start with some of the similarities and then we'll go back and talk about what makes each guitar unique. So both instruments feature maple necks. Um, the Select Strat here has a bird's eye maple neck with the skunk stripe and the Ibanez has a very thin neck. Um, it's a five piece, so three pieces of maple and then I think it's walnut in between. Um, both have rosewood fingerboards. Uh, both of these guitars feature locking tuners. I think the Fender is probably Schaller, but it's branded for Fender and uh, the Ibanez is Goto. So both very, very good options. Both ho hold tune very well. Now, both of these guitars also feature five-way switching. So we'll go through each one of the positions and do some riffs for you guys so you can hear uh, what the differences are and we'll talk about how uh, the pickups are broken up in each one of the five positions. So that should be interesting. Um, and both of them feature figured tops. So the Select Strat has a maple top, a uh, flame maple, and of course the Ibanez has quilted maple. All right, so the Strat has an alder body and a nice uh, contoured heel joint here. Um, it's got humbucker single single for its pickups, so that'll be interesting when we compare it up against the Prestige. And 22 frets, other than that, it's basically a Strat in terms of uh, its controls and the rest of its layout. All right, so now for the Prestige. When we think about Strats um, in comparison to Telecasters or Les Pauls, we think, oh man, Strats are ergonomic, they're light, they feel great to play on. And then you pick up one of these and it's like next level. It's so comfortable. It's very, very thin mahogany body. Um, of course, the quilted maple top. It's got 24 frets where the Strat has 22. And of course, we've got two humbuckers. We still have five-way switching. So we'll talk about how that's broken up on this model and do some playing for you guys. All right, so now that we've had a brief overview of the guitars, uh, let's play our riffs. So we're going to be playing through a Mesa Boogie Blue Angel amp, um, overdrive and distortion courtesy of the Lawrence Petros Design uh, 87 pedal. And we're going to be miking it up on the grill with the Sennheiser E906 mic. All right, so let's start in the neck position. We're going to start with the Strat and we're going to go single coil versus humbucker. Let's take a listen. So now let's take a listen to position four. Now on a Stratocaster, of course, you have the neck pickup and the middle pickup together. It's hum canceling, so it's nice and quiet, and it gives you that classic quack sound of a Strat. So let's take a look at the Prestige. I'll just grab that. Now on the Prestige in position four, um, it's still the neck humbucker, but it's wired in parallel. So in position five here, um, you heard like that full humbucking sound. Now we're gonna go to position four, and it's just rewired in parallel. So let's take a listen to those. So let's jump to position three. Now, of course, on a Stratocaster, that means we're gonna be using this middle single coil pickup. So as we add a little bit of overdrive, you may notice that uh, there's some hum coming from the single coils, and that's just the nature of single coils. Uh, let's check out the Prestige. 
Now for position three on this baby, we're gonna have both humbuckers engaged at the same time. So you'll probably notice uh, quite a bit more output versus uh, the one single coil and a little bit of a thicker sound. Let's take a listen. Okay, for position two, the Strat has the full humbucker engaged plus the middle single coil. So it'll be interesting to see if it still has that, you know, Mark Knopfler kind of classic Strat sound or if it's totally different with the humbucker. And of course, for um, position two on the Prestige, the Ibanez here, we have one single coil and one single coil. So it's going to be sort of like that telly outside single coil uh, sound. So let's take a listen. <laughs> And finally, we've arrived at the bridge pickups. So we're gonna crank the 87 drive, get some big distortion for you guys, and we're gonna compare the Strat humbucker versus the Ibanez humbucker. Alright, so let's throw these two guitars into a mix. If you guys want to play along with the backing track that I use for this video, check the video description. You can find a link there. Alright, let's listen to these guitars.
All right, so some final thoughts in terms of playability and tone between the Prestige and the Select Strat. Um, the Ibanez has classic Ibanez tone. Um, you know, we associate it with like Steve Vai and Joe Satriani, and it's true. Um, on the, especially on the lead, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it has sort of a thicker sustaining kind of tone. Um, the Strat has a little bit more kind of raw energy, a little bit rougher around the edges, and the Ibanez is just super smooth. Um, in terms of playability, uh, this Ibanez, if I can get the angle right here, yeah, it's like playing nothing. You know, it's so thin, it's so light, and as I mentioned earlier, I associate the Strat uh, with an excellent playing ergonomic instrument. Uh, this one just takes it up to a whole nother level. It's just super light, um, made for playability in every way. There's nothing that, you know, hinders you or whatever when you're playing. Um, it's just a great experience. Now, of course, whether you like, you know, this ultra thin neck or not, um, that's up to you. All right, let's look at the Strat. Oh man, this thing suddenly feels really heavy. <laughs> what the heck? Anyway, uh, yeah, this is a great playing Strat and would be, you know, my top choice for a modern Strat. It's got everything you could want in a Strat. Um, it's got a compound radius neck and medium jumbo frets. I should mention that the Ibanez, of course, has jumbo frets. So again, a little bit feels a little bit different to play on. Um, but yeah, a great experience. Um, true single coil pickups, so you get all that chime um, and the versatility of the humbucker is great so if you're ever at a gig that's like too noisy with a bunch of lights that your single coils are just humming like crazy um, you always have the option to go to the humbucker and of course when you're soloing or if you just want a more aggressive riffing having the humbucker single single makes this stratocaster super versatile thanks so much for watching you guys i hope you enjoyed this comparison let me know in the comments below whether you preferred the ibanez or the fender and of course, my information will be on the screen so you can subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. That helps me out a bunch. And other than that, we'll see you guys next week with a new video. Have a great weekend.